Hey there, Louis Akabalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can link records from one table to another table in Airtable. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now you can see here that I have a base called Project Tracking. Now in this base, I have three tables. I have one table called Projects, which is used to record records for the projects to be delivered. I have a table called Tasks, and this table is going to be used to record the tasks that have to be completed on a particular project. And I have a third table called Subtasks, and this table is going to record subtasks for tasks that have to be completed on a project. Now, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we are going to start by linking the task record to a project record. Now, to link records between tables, you want to click on the plus sign, which is the add a field button. And here you want to go ahead and select the type link to another record. Now, as you can see here, this menu is going to display a list of the other tables that exist in this base. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select projects and I am going to then go ahead and give this field a name. So I'm going to call this project ID. And you can see here the description that reads this field will link to records in the projects table. So this is going to allow us to establish a relationship between a record in our task table with a record in our project table. Now you also have the option to allow linking to multiple records. And next you want to click on create field. Now you can see here that the relationship was established. Now what's really cool about Airtable is after you establish that link to another record, you're going to get this prompt asking if you would like to add lookup fields. Now specifically, this is going to allow us to select fields from the project record and actually display them in the task table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and toggle on the project name and I'm going to toggle on the project manager field. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click add two fields. Now, before I do that, if you don't wanna display any lookup fields, you can just skip this step and you'll always have the option of coming back to add these lookup fields later. Now I'll go ahead and click add two fields. And you can see here that the additional columns have been added to our task table. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and show you how you can actually link records between the two tables. So I will take this task called launch RFP and I'm going to click into the form view here. Now you can see here the project ID field that is a link to another record data type. Now I'll go ahead and click add project and this is going to allow me to select one of the records that exist in my project table. So I'll go ahead and select this first one here, replace system. And you can see here after I select that record, it displays the project ID field and it also populates the project name field from the projects table and the project manager field from the project table as well. Now, because we toggled on the option to link to multiple records, if I go ahead and click add project, I can establish another relationship between this task record and another record on the projects table. So I'll go ahead and select project three here. And again, you can see it's now just going to add the additional associated record here. And it's also going to display the lookup fields for project name and project manager. Now I'll close out of the form view and you can see here in the tabular view that it is going to display the associated records in the project ID column that we created. And it's also going to display the project name for both projects that we associated with this task record and the project managers for both associated records. Now what's really cool about Airtable is that linking to records in a different table is also bi-directional. So if I now switch back to my projects table, you're going to see here that establishing that relationship also added a column in the projects table so that we can see that a project is associated with another record in another table. Now if I go ahead and expand this replace system project record here, you can see it is going to display information for the related task record that exists in that task table. 
And if I click on this drop down here, you can see that I have additional information. I can edit the field. I can even add additional lookup fields to the projects table so that I can easily catch up on additional information. Now I'll go ahead and I will toggle on task status and I'll add task description here and I'll click add to fields. And you can see here that now on the form view, I can see the task description coming from the task table as well as the task status. And if I close out of the form view and scroll over, I can also now see those associated task descriptions and their corresponding statuses coming from the task table. So this is a really powerful tool that allows you to establish relationships between multiple tables in your base. All right, now the next thing that I'll show you is how you can establish relationships between a third table. So in this example, again, we already built a relationship between the project table and tasks table. And now we're gonna go ahead and establish a relationship between the tasks and subtasks table. Now this time what I'll do is I will actually do this from the card view. So I will click into this subtask called create RFP package. And this time I'm going to click on add new field to this table. And I am going to click into the field type and select link to another record. And we'll go ahead and give this a name and I will call this parent task. And I will select the tasks table. And I will also toggle on allow linking to multiple records. Next, I'll click save. And I am now going to also add additional lookup fields, but this time I'm gonna close out of this menu. And what I'm going to do is, let's say you establish the relationship and then you didn't add any lookup fields, but you wanna do that after the fact, then you can go ahead again and click on add new field to this table. This time we're going to click into the field type selector and we're going to select lookup. Now you can just start typing lookup and it's going to appear here. So I'll click on this. Now you're gonna notice here that this time when we're adding the lookup field in this manner, it's displaying two tabs, a configuration tab and a formatting tab. Now it automatically grabbed the field on this table that is actually linked to another record. So again, this subtask table, we only have one link and that is back to our main task table. So it found that for us and suggested that we're going to use that parent task field that we created in the previous step as a reference point. And now if I click into the choose a field dropdown, again, it's going to allow me to display one of these fields that are coming from that parent task or that tasks table. So I'm going to select task description and I'm going to go ahead and click save. And now when we associate this subtask with a parent task, by clicking on this add task button, I'm going to select launch RFP. And you can see here that it is going to display the name of this task and the relationship here. So I'll close out of this. And you can see here that parent task ID is eight and the description is launch RFP. Now I didn't give this a name, that's why it's showing up as field eight, but I can easily just click into this and call this parent task name just to be more clear and click save. And now it's a little easier to trace the relationship between subtasks and tasks. Now what's also really cool is that when you establish links to other records in Airtable, you also get access to some aggregate formulas so in the next part of this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually perform a count using these linked records. All right, now what I've done here is I've actually linked all of the records that exist in my subtasks table to the parent task of launch RFP. So launch RFP consists of all of these different subtasks. Now when you're linking records, you also gain access to some aggregate functions what we're going to look at here is a count function. Now, a count function will essentially allow you to count the number of related records on your related table. So in this case, we're going to add a count column to our tasks table that will basically display the number of related records that exist in the subtask table. So to do this, you want to click on the add a field button here. Now, if I scroll down, 
you're going to see these additional field types, specifically count and lookup. Now, if I hover my cursor over count, you can see the description reads count the number of linked records. And if I hover over lookup, again, you can see that description that says look up a field on linked records. Now I'll click on count and I'm going to call this count of sub tasks. And the next step is we want to select the field on this table that links to the records that we want to count. Now, if I click into this dropdown, you'll remember that this task table has two relationships, one with the projects table and the second with the subtasks table. We're going to go ahead and click subtasks. And what we would expect to see is that this column is going to display a number and that number should correspond to the number of related records that exist in the subtask table. So I'll go ahead and click create field and you can see here the count of subtasks is showing five. That makes sense because we see here that this task has five child tasks, four, five, three, two, and one. And when we click into our subtasks table, again, I had linked all of these subtasks to that parent task and there are five of them in this table. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how to link records between tables that exist in a base in Airtable. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Akabalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.